Okay, Dirk raises the question, and he says, uh, when you say soybean meal is a good buy, what type of rations are you basing that on? As in how much corn silage or haylage and how many kilograms or pounds of soybean meal would you feed up to? Uh, Dirk, it's, the reason I said it's a good buy, and that is because I'm looking at sesame. And I, I've got my notes here in front of me here. And I can look at them here and get that number really for you. So it simply says relative to hay, alfalfa, relative to canola, relative to distillers, relative to blood meal. In other words, you look at all these protein sources. It simply says here uh, that uh, it uh, it the the value. And let me correct that. Now I've got my cheat sheet in front of me here. For example, soybean expeller. Uh, basically, it says it's worth $580 a ton, and right now it's $488, so it means that's a good buy. I uh, want to correct the soybean meal at $48. Uh, basically, uh, it says the, the break-even price here is going to be uh, $422 a ton, and uh, currently, depending on where you are, uh, here in uh, Illinois, we'd be below that price. In Pennsylvania, you'd be above that price. So there's another question to, to, to you. So it has nothing to do with the ration. It simply says, what is the value of the nutrient? So uh, I think that's a great question. And hopefully I've clarified where really the ration in the in sesame program doesn't come into play at all. It looks at alternative feedstuffs and it's looking primarily at energy. It's looking at uh, the uh, protein levels, the fiber levels and digestible fiber levels in the feeding program. And then you can also look at the lysine methionine in the bypass, which I like to look at, especially when I'm looking at such things as corn distillers, grains, and heat treated soy and heat treated canola products as far as that goes. So, uh, so that answers the first part that the ration is, is basically not, not critical. Uh, corn silage, I, I like in my rations, two thirds of the forage dry matter as corn silage. And yes, that means you're gonna buy more protein. I understand that. But the advantage I have is when I use my models, when I start getting close to 50% haylage or more, then I have way too much room and degradable protein. And now I'm in the urine business. I'm not in the milk business anymore. So, so that's another answer there. And how many pounds or kilos? It, whatever my model sees, I've got to solve metabolizable protein. So most of my programs will tell me I have enough available uh, of metabolizable protein for say 80 pounds of milk or 85 pounds of milk or 65 pounds, whatever your target's going to be for your breed there. So Dirk, great question, kind of a long answer. And I want to be sure to indicate that actually my last computer run I looked at here, uh, soybean meal basically is, is not a, a super uh, cheap buy at this point.